When you try to lose weight, yes, home cooked meal is the way to go because you know what exactly you put it in the food, what's in it. You can control some like sugar, fat. If you don't want to add gluten, you can take it off. But you don't have a time. You are nine to fivers. You are always out. Your shift is twelve hours a day. What do I do? I would use those a lot. Already washed, and it can be finger food. I don't buy it with a kit. Toss it in it. Cook it in the skillet or microwave. I don't really mind as long as there's a portion is in it. So help yourself. Make yourself easy. What if I don't like? Give it a try. Things. Even you don't like. You may surprise yourself. Your taste buds change. Your palate got mature. Buy those already prepared barbecued chicken. Don't buy just one pack. Buy two. Cut it all off, and I use as your prepared protein. Two chicken thighs make two third cup, approximately six ounces. Little less than six ounces, but that's fine. Little over six ounces, that's fine. And then add a carb. When you prepare the carbs like barley or rice. Or sweet potato prepared in bulk, so you always have some, and add some fat. It's good for you, but it is high in calories, so we're gonna limit it to one serving per day. Not like those plates with vegetables, protein, carbs. You can have a three or four or five if your weight is lot to go, or you are a man, you want to lose. You need to start it higher. Calories, so that's how you start it. But fat portion stays one per day. Not a big fan of nuts. Quarter of avocado. I used to working at the sushi restaurant. Avocado is on the California road. You go to a sushi bar. They have ripe, creamy avocados, always in a little container because they keep slicing off. This girl, one of the waitresses I used to work with, she used to eat those a lot. We saw her. Very skinny Korean girl came in, tiny petite. Whenever she talks to sushi chefs on break, she's munching on avocados. And she's worried about why I'm gaining weight while she's eating avocados in front of us. Back then, it was long ago before eating of avocado is a cool thing or trend. But avocado is just basically creamy, very yummy fruit. Nobody put too much thought on this is gonna be wreck my waistline. Guess what happened? She really gained the waist, like until other people notice it. But nobody had to tell her you should cut back on the avocados. Nobody want to hear somebody else telling you what to do. Anyways, that's the story of avocado. If you don't like a nut, if you don't like avocado, remember quarter cup or quarter of this, not whole thing per day. So this is my breakfast actually. Right now it is. 10:58. I don't necessarily follow intermittent fasting. I'm hungry. I was hungry since nine, but I didn't have a time. Eat when you are hungry. Intermittent fasting. There are a lot of other science evidence researchers finding this is good, good for you. Most people use it as create the calorie deficit. If that works for you, do it. Even though I eat, let's say between 12 to 7:30. I make sure you make sure one gram per your ideal weight goal in pound. If your goal is for Sean's case, my husband, his goal is 190 pound. We don't own the scale, but we know the from the size of our clothes for last so many years. Try to put it in at least 190 grams of protein per day. How do you know how much I'm eating? So approximately, so this six ounce is a deck of a card. That is about three ounce. Six ounce is two decks of a cards. If your protein is served like this, little smaller than tennis ball is about six ounce. One whole egg has six grams of protein. Two eggs are recommended. People worry about the cholesterol in the egg. So if you eat eggs. 12 grams per breakfast. How you gonna fit into 150, 180? Your ideal weight goal get to protein cost more calories to burn. Protein goes a long way. Goes here, goes here, goes here. The bones 
goes everywhere, even fingernails. If you are not eating enough protein, meaning you leave a lot of room for other food, for example, pasta, white rice, bread, to fill up that hunger. So make sure to eat enough protein and the vegetables. When I'm eating eggs, I am not that hungry that time, that meal. I'm eating two eggs, with I'm adding four egg whites. One egg white has four grams of protein, 16 grams from the egg white, 12 grams from the whole eggs, that makes little less than 30 grams. When I'm eating chicken like this, two decks of a card, a steak, pork, fish is a little less, but approximately between 38 to 48 grams of protein in there. So when I hit the steak, for me, it's easier to get to my ideal weight goal. Tofu or tempeh. So here's the deal. So whole block, look at this. Looks like two serving size of a protein, right? But a whole block is 36 grams, according to nutrition fact in here. What I would like to do is squeeze the water out with the tofu press, if you like to make it two thirds cup in the one serving. I wouldn't mind if tofu doesn't have a seasoning because water content is high. I will cook whole thing. That's my one portion of a protein. So eat it for the breakfast. I am full. I will leave a half in the middle of the, between the meals. That's my snack portion. Make sure I will eat at least three blocks per day. Still, that's less than 120 grams of protein per day. What is your ideal weight goal? Tempeh say One third package of this is 16 grams of protein. Tempeh is dense, but they are all from same family, from soy, including edamame. Soy sauce, same family. They are all from soy. Tofu has more water. Tempeh doesn't have a milk much of water. Yogurt, Greek yogurt, Icelandic yogurt has more protein. Use no fat, plain yogurt. Don't buy the fruit bottom. Do you wanna keep the, your same habit, same palate to try to change your body? How challenging that could be. You gotta give her a challenge if you wanna change your body. Two third cup is a serving, is three quarter cup. So that's approximately same. 17 grams of protein in here. This is a complete protein. This is a complete protein. This is a complete protein. Complete protein. But even though it's not complete protein, like beans, lentils, as a carb, that means you are adding seven grams from the beans, seven grams from the lentils. And the mommy has a little bit more, I believe 18 grams per cup protein, you are keep adding it. Try to give yourself a little bit of effort if that is your goal. Weight loss is a good thing, but also you have to think about it comes with weight loss. Don't lose muscle or bone or ligament or jeopardize your organs or hormones. Eat your right amount of protein. It has many kinds of vegetables food in your diet. You never know what you're missing. Don't buy ideas of controversy or sensationalism of fear fitness and health industry or some doctors selling you open up to so many opportunity with so many other many kinds of food and drink some water that's all for today